sponsored by 666bet.com. Stop laughing. <laughs> All right, good morning. This is Coogan Cassius for the Cassius and Hill Show here on Box Nation. With me, I've got promoter Frank Warren. Well, Frank, the press conference was done today and uh, Mr Eubank turned up and well, it was all right in the end. Yeah, we got there in the end. It took a long time. It's a shame, really, because it'd be nice to, you know, it's, you know, it's, I, I like to hear the two guys. I don't know about you. I mean, I know the fans do. I like to hear them talk, what they've got to say about each other, what they're, you know, what they're going to say about the fight. And it adds to the drama. It adds to the, you know, the build-up and the promotion of it all. And that's the business we're in, promotion after all. And uh, it was good, as you say, to, to see them together. When you first, first announced this fight, were you concerned at all that you wouldn't get to this point where the fight is very much on? No, I, the fight was always on. The problem's always been is, is stupid stuff, in my opinion. You know, stuff where you know we're not participating in the press conference, not taking, the, you know, not giving that that um, respect to the to the to the media. That, that's what, what has been the problem. And all the nonsense about, you know, people slapping each other, that's why we're not going to press conference. When in the end, he shows up on his own. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> Can't tell what's going to happen. Um, How was the tension up there on the top table? Obviously, you had one man to the left, one man to the right. You were banging uh, in the middle, Frank. Uh, well, uh, you know, you, I'd just like to... I'd like to see the face-off. And we didn't get to that. You know, Junior left. And it'd be nice. I'd like to say, because I like to see, you know, because I'm quite close to it, and you know, you get the feel of it. You see the look in the eyes and the body language and all that. Um, they're both very, very confident, and they're both very, very fit. They've trained hard for this fight, there's no doubt. I've never seen Bill in such shape, and he's focused. And, and I think Bill, when he gets a, when he gets a fight where, um, it, you know, where, where it's always seemed to be a tough fight for him, like that Gerard Fletcher fight, he was. An underdog went in there, done the business. His last European title fight went in there. I mean, knocked the fella out and hit him with a tremendous shot. He rises to that. And young Christopher is, uh, as I say, is, is an, an enigma. You know, we don't know. It's a mystery at the moment. You know, is he as good as people say he is? You know, can he? Is this a step too far? Is he too young for this? You know, he's not like he's had. He's not like he's had the preparation that Bill's had and the fighters that Bill's fought over the last. Um, Few years, Bill's. I think his last four or five fights all been undefeated fighters, all title fights. Um, Christopher's four uh, uh, and four or five of those fights been on my show for uh, opponents that are nowhere near the, the caliber of what Bill's fought. So we will see on the night um, what's going to happen. It's a very intriguing fight. Indeed, Saunders Eubank is obviously just one fight of uh, a stacked card at the XL this week, and uh, obviously Titan Fury and Derek Tizora. Finally, the rematch uh, between the two will happen this Saturday, and uh, again a 50-50 fight, and we don't know what's going to happen there. No, we don't, and I think that's what's what's so good about this show. And they're good, you know, they are good fights, and they're meaningful fights. This is not some, you know, building up some nonsense grudge match. This is th what this is about is about the winners of those two fights, you know, uh, the, uh, Derek's fight and Tyson's fight, and Bill and Chris Jr. Both of them are final eliminators to fight for the world title. So there you know, it's not just the fight that's gonna be such so exciting, it's where they go from, where it projects them. You know, the it builds up the next two thousand and fifteen, early two thousand and fifteen, you're gonna see the winners in world title fights. And it don't get no better than that. So, you know, these are you know, these are real these are football's equivalent of, you know, their semi finals for the cup ties and it's the best of the best of British, British guys fighting Who's the you know who's, who's the best? We're going to find out. Also on the card, um, Bradley Skeet and, and Frank Gavin, another intriguing clash at well away. Um, obviously, we was at the press conference a few weeks ago, and um, <coughs> an interesting fight, Frank. It's a great well. fight, isn't it? I mean, you got you got um, Bradley Skeet, undefeated, and you got Frank, who's uh, who's oh, got an amazing pedigree. Uh, lost a split decision for that European, and, f and that was a final eliminator for the world title. Lost that. Split decision, and when you think about it, um, you know, I thought we might done enough to win the fight. Not going to be a crybaby about it. It is what it is, and you know, we move on. Um, Bradley obviously fancies the job now. He may have seen a chink in his armour, and he's, you know, in in the, in the fight that he lost. Um, that remains to be seen. But the, the bottom line is they're getting it together. It's great a game for British boxing. But two fighters in there, you know, the two best in their division. Uh, you know. You know, at that level, and I think, and I think that um, the winner will go on and get yourself a top three spot out of that. So it's, it's a great fight. Um, another decent scrap on the bill is Sykes and Walsh. Um, we have 
quite just tried to be made before, but it's, it's finally on. Yeah, and um, you know um, Sykes is a is a you know he's a decent decent fighter, and uh, and I'm sure he's coming to. To, to do his best to get the title. And you've got with Liam, who's probably um, been the most unluckiest fighter in the country for the last couple of years with the injuries he had. I mean, he, he had a fabulous win on the uh, H. Azora bill. I mean, I thought he really, I thought he was the standout performance that night. Um, but unfortunately, injuries, he's had a lot of injuries. He was supposed to fight Ricky Burns, was in a car crash. Um, he's got to get his career back on track. And this is a tough fight for him to come back to. There's no warm ups, he's straight in. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously, the rest of the card, Frank Bullioni, Mitchell Smith, Romeo Romero, Huey Fury, there's you know, an abundance, Ahmed Patterson, an yeah. abundance of... Quality fighters, quality young fighters, good yeah. young fighters, you know, coming through. Young Mitchell, he's, I mean, he's, he's, he's sold a York Hall, you know that? He sold over 1,200 tickets. That's selling York Hall out. Yeah. On his own, you know, so, so it's going to be a fabulous atmosphere. Frank Bullioni, the same. These guys have all sold a lot of tickets, so the atmosphere is going to be... Fantastic for their, you know, their respective supporters. It's gonna be, it's gonna be brilliant. Mm. Uh, we obviously understand that that the ticket allocation is very, very close to setting out. Yeah. What is the crowd going to be? Frank, um, we will wind up it with a full capacity. We're trying to, we're trying to get some more seats released, and we have to deal with that with the, with the venue and the local forest. The problem is, it's a, re it's not, a, it's a rectangular building, so it's making sure that the seats that, if we can get the seats in, that people can actually get a good good view of the action. So we worked on that, but it's absolutely 100% sold out. No secondary ticket market, tickets for the fans. That's the business we're in. All right, Frank, thanks for talking to the Cassius and Howell Show, and uh, I'm sure we'll be catching up with you most days this week. Good man. Thank you very much. See you. Cheers, Frank. The Big Fight, sponsored by 666bet.com.